Let's try that again. Maybe wondering why I'm on the floor. And to that, I say I'm, I'm doing my best. It's my new bed, just creating it. It's got wheels for extra movability. So for the people who aren't morning people, you don't even have to get up. You can just roll to get your coffee. It's a pretty cool invention, getting it patented. Just kidding, it's not a bed, it's a dolly. A dolly for what, you ask? Into a cart for this plasma cutter. So we're gonna be having it up in the air a little bit so you don't have to bend over to do the controls and everything like that. Then under that with all the space underneath here, we can have all the uh, your welding gloves, masks, whatever, straight edges. Um, I might build a little cubby, pull out cubby drawer thing, organizer for all the tips and the heads for the torch. And then on the sides, we'll have little hangers for the uh, torch handle, a hose, and the ground cable. Have a little hanger for the plug on the back side. Yeah, I don't have any plans for it. But we're gonna be using this stuff. 5 8 particle board. Comes in a, three different sizes, I think. This stuff's pretty durable, as long as you don't get it wet. Wood, wet, water, doesn't really work out and you pre-drill all your screw holes. And it's a challenge because I can only work within a certain parameter, which I enjoy because you kind of have to think outside the box of how to make stuff. This stuff's just gonna be straight cuts, kind of just like Legos blocking it together. So let's get to it.
she is. Oh, if it's glory. Now, it's nothing special. There's no design to it, so it was just what it is. I don't know why I did that. But, if you stand up, probably out of the shot. You don't have to bend all the way down. Your controls are right here, plugs here. You got your plugs on the back. So that's the machine. I kept it a little sloppy on the top just because I didn't want the wood being directly on there. I think what I'm going to do is actually put some corrugated in between or felt so that it doesn't scratch plastic. But yeah, so you got the machine on top, it's locked in, front, back, side, side, front, back, side, side, so front, back, side, side. That's not a song, but it should be. You're welcome. So in the front here, we got a little cubby for a pencil. You got room for a uh, grinder, tips, uh, mask, gloves, manual, whatever else you want to put in there. Um, get back in there, pencil. This side you have hose holder, torch handle. There's a little notch for the handle to sit in. The nice thing about this is that completely on accident, the handle for the cart is right there. It sits right in there. It's perfect. It worked out great, just like I planned it. On the back side, your power cable holder, little routed out, cut out section there that you saw previously. Then, on the opposite side, you have your ground cable holder. Same thing as the other side. And here's what happens when you make stuff Actually, just when you make stuff in general. You can miss things when you're designing something or fabricating something. Just figure stuff out, or you find something, you're like, oh, that could be perfect. This is exact. This is an exact. Words are difficult. Man. This is a perfect example of that. Or have a slot for straight edges. And I was thinking originally, we were going to put it in here, but I don't know if you can see this. The bottom of it hits the cart there. So I was like, okay, that's not gonna work. So then I thought, okay, we'll slide it under here, still running the same issues. And then I put it up here, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. The issue was that these pieces I put on here stopped it from sliding all the way down. So, using my infinite homeschooled wisdom, I just cut out a little notch right here, and allowed them to slide all the way back. Voila, done, perfect, beautiful. So yeah, that's, that's the cart. It's nothing special. It just does the job. Holds it up perfectly. Good height. That way you also you can use the handle of the cart to push it around. So that's kind of the point of this video. Well, the main reason why I wanted to make this cart was for the plasma cutter to help hold off the ground, like I said, all that stuff. But, I'm new to this whole video filming thing, and so I'm learning camera angles and everything like that, what's the best way to do stuff, as well as editing. And I suck at it right now because I just started. You know, it's a learning experience for me, so might as well record everything that I do, right? And learn how to edit, and eventually I'll get better. But as far as the cart, maybe it'll inspire somebody to make something. Doesn't even have to be in the design world or fabricating world, it can be whatever, just go do it. You know, be positive and have fun with it. There will be other design oriented videos coming up soon. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.